All right, coaches, let's go ahead. Let's talk about Tuesday, um, the seventh workout. So we're going to be starting our strength portion with a complex, okay? So you guys are gonna already notice that the scoring for this is a little bit off. It's free form, okay? The reason for that is there's no way in Chalk It Pro for us to be able to log a complex. But I thought it was really important that we log the complex and not one specific thing in the lift. So have them just log their heaviest complex that they're able to do, okay? So um, for the complex, let's, uh, so sorry, I'll go into what the complex is here in just a second. But we're going to be starting our reps at a six RPE going up to an eight RPE, okay? So it should be getting heavy, but nothing that we are worried about them failing any of those lifts, okay? So if we start getting into those uh, rep ranges where we're not sure if we're gonna be able to complete the complex unbroken, then we need to go ahead and stay there or go down to a weight that we know we can, um, but with, with some weight, obviously. Um, on, uh, the clean deadlift to the hang power clean, front squat, and the jerk. Um, let's go ahead and let's quickly go over what that complex looks like. Um, and then also with the complex, is you'll see that it says like five sets of four or something like that. Uh, sorry, I think it's like four sets of five. Um, the reps do not need to be unbroken. The complex needs to be unbroken. So the, 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 the reps are the full, um, complex. Okay, if you have questions about that, please just let me know, but I think everyone pretty much gets it. Okay, so clean deadlift. We're going to start at the bottom. We're going to go into a clean deadlift, then into a hang power clean. They can go to a low hang, or they can stay at the high hang, okay? Into that clean, and then you're going to go into our front squat, and then into our jerk. So we can do a push jerk, or as the weight gets heavier, we can go into that split jerk, okay? We can really put the bar down, rest, and then hit the next rep, um, rest, hit the next rep, okay? I'd rather see really good, clean movements and fixing those technique issues as we're going into this deload de week than having people um, just lift heavy for the sake of lifting heavy, okay? Um, then we're gonna move into the workout. Today we've got five sets, okay? Uh, it's an EMOM style, so minute one, you're gonna do max calories on the bike. Minute two, we're gonna be doing box step overs with body weight. Then we're going to move to max alternating V ups or toes to bar. And then we're going to rest, okay? So a couple caveats with this one that's a little bit different. With your box step overs, because there's no weight, um, if you want people, if they need a little bit of a challenge for this workout, encourage them to go on a higher box than, than what we see on the box, or just have them stay at the box. It's totally fine. Either one's fine. But for something like this where it's just our body weight, if we do go to a higher box, and I'm going to a 30 only because I can really show you what we're looking at here, but <coughs> if you have someone that's supposed to do a 24 inch box, but usually with weight, we wanna drop them down to a 20 so their knees parallel with their hip, this we could do the opposite, okay? So because we're only doing body weight, if they're able to press out of their heel and come straight up without rolling into their toes, that's okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, that's okay, we can go ahead and we can press out of that heel and stand all the way up without using our other leg, this is fine. <coughs> it will make it a little bit harder, and it will also help us in the bottom of those squats being really able to activate that glute, okay? If they are trying to do this, and they keep shifting into that toe to press out, drop their, drop their height, okay? Do not let them press up out of that, okay? Um, with your guys' V-ups or toes to bar, um, we have a set amount we want them doing every round, and then they need to stop. Okay, so it's max up until that point, okay? Um, so just make sure that you um, go over that and make sure that they do know that it is a max up until that point. Um, other than that, everything else should be good. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you tomorrow.